Ça fait chaud. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's beautiful Sunday morning. I'm still at the hotel, 9 o'clock, and I will just go for the breakfast now, take some shower, I'll pack my stuff, and we will get going again. Having a tasty breakfast at the Yakan Palace Resort Hotel, where I stayed for the night, I set off to the Sivri Dak Mili Nature Park. I took the D400 road initially almost to Antalya and then turned back southwards again via the village of Hachise Kilier all the way to the village of Yarbash Chandir from where I continued off road to Deregoy. You can see the route on the map. Lovely little village market. this machine my lovely little bike well not little but mine definitely and I've been on her to Romania already Of course in the Alps here later on Around variety places in the Czech Republic In Turkey And of course it's a good looking machine And very 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 much comfortable touring mode when whatever surface is beneath you it just absorbs everything and keeps you comfortable if you need to do a 
long distance 1000 kilometers 1000 kilometers a day or more or if you need to spend on it on the saddle like uh, the whole day couple of days you're always comfortable for this the Ducati Multistrada and for the looks is probably the only bike that I will ever want to have would love to try out the V4S the new one at some point and when this one will go on to the retirement maybe then to switch to the V4S at some point later on in my life but uh, this one Hopefully, Inshallah has a lot of mileage that she and I will have together. The handling is just amazing. You can just flip her between the corners left to right very easily. Very flickable. Very. This village was the waypoint that I set in my sat now. Oh, look at that. Did I already told you that I fell in love with Turkey as a country? Turkey? I certainly did. I planned to visit so many times in the past and never really did it for other activities, other priorities other work-life events up until this year May this year the trip with my family was my first time to visit the country ever and definitely not the last time definitely not A friend of mine, a cinematographer, climber, Tom Hudeček, aka Red. Tom, you would love it here for mountain climbing and all that. Look. Follow him on Instagram, I will put the link in the description as well. Here's a cracking good content from mountain climbing. Let me try to go here. Maybe, maybe we can see it from a perspective up above.
Dogi. Hello Dogi. How are you? off-road section. No, I'm not attempting to do it, but let's just quickly explore up the hill. In an enduro mode. For the next trip I will most likely take the Scorpion half-half road of road tires for better grip on the off-road sections. Would actually love to spend more time on roads like these when exploring countries. But for expeditions like this one, probably having a option for these types of roads, a better one than the standard road tires would be would be nice as well. Not sure where this is going, where it will take us, and that's the beauty on this. Oh yes, something like this I was hoping for.
was being built over there. going much further up because simply I don't have tires for this I just want to find a nice spot with the view a little bit more up but that will be it Beautiful. Up here and uh, have some pictures. Oh, yes, yeah, that over there that would be fab. I don't know if this view translates as well on the GoPro or not because of the focal length and and everything but this is this is amazing this is amazing I went up the hill uh, intentionally I just looked for one of the side roads and wanted to get a little bit, not, not necessarily into off-road section or anything like that, but wanted to get off the main road to see if I could explore a little bit of these hills and uh, what I found out is just beyond beautiful. Look. The sea over there and Antalya over there. And everywhere just hills, mountains, lovely weather, fresh air. This is why I like exploring these roads uh, less traveled and of course this is an un unpaved road, nothing, no, not like an off-road section but uh, unpaved so better tires for the next trip definitely so that we can explore these types of roads and places a little bit more than on this trip. And so I've started descending back from Sivridak Mili Parki down to Antalya and everything was quite uneventful until this has happened.
Interesting road suggested by the Sadna. Interesting option, eh? <laughs> hmm. I am good, yes. Okay, thank you. I went, I went halfway, uh -huh. and then the other one was effectively not looking good. So everything starts and ends with uh, one person's own stupidity. Uh, crossing this halfway was completely unnecessary, only to realize that you know, these stones and uh, it's it's fairly deep for my uh, road tires to to handle. It wasn't as as much problem the water itself, but the other patch of the water was a little bit deeper and the stream was a little bit faster so I just didn't want to risk it because it's completely unnecessary so I crossed it back in the meantime one guy on the scooter came uh, who, has doing, who was doing home delivery food and uh, he got stuck there and uh, I think his carburetor uh, took, a little bit of, uh, took a little bit of water as well so we just pushed him over and uh, through the river and uh, through the stream and uh, off, off he went. Now um, everything is packed on my motorbike back again because I had to unpack it. It was too heavy and now I'm going as well. All right. Ah. Enough doing bookwash. My feet are wet. Body me. <laughs> What the hell I was thinking? Yes, here's bridge. You know, when there is bridge, there is no need to cross the river. If there wouldn't be any bridge, 
that makes it a different situation, eh? And in this, I believe this is the best moment to end this episode. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.